But secondly, because his message, as we'll see here in a bit, is contingent upon Israel's rejection of Christ. Paul has to go to synagogues because without Israel's rejection of Christ, there is no mystery salvation. You understand? Let me say that again slowly. Salvation, according to the kingdom, was salvation to Gentiles through Israel's rise in salvation. Israel gets saved first, then Gentiles get saved. Mystery salvation is how Gentiles and anybody else can get saved while the kingdom's not here. And Israel's rejected Christ. That's what makes it a mystery. If Gentiles get saved by Israel's acceptance, not Israel's rejection, it's not a mystery, folks. It's not a mystery at all. So the fact that Paul's going to the synagogues here is amplifying his mystery information because every synagogue rejects it. He's going, well, you reject it. I'm going out there to those guys. Well, you can't do that. He goes, yes, I can. Right? That's what happens in the book of Acts every time. Right? Which shows you Paul had different instructions. But it also shows you, more importantly, the theme that Israel's rejecting it. So at the end of the book, Israel rejected it, but there's still salvation being preached. How? According to mystery. Right? That's, that's how, you, how you deal with that. But Paul's ministry was to Israel. He was rejected by Israel, and Gentiles accepted him. That's the story. It was the, see how that's the same for Peter and Paul? They both go to Israel. They both are rejected, and Gentiles accept them both. Now, their messages are different. Right? But they're both preaching Christ. Right? It's the same Christ Paul preaches in Romans as he preaches in Ephesians. Same Christ. Okay. If you go to the book of Acts and try to find your Pauline pattern, you're going to be messed up. Because in the book of Acts, Paul water baptizes, he circumcises, he takes vows, he takes holy days. Why? Acts is about Israel and their fall. The reason why Paul is recorded to do those things, he's doing those things for the sake of Israel. Because he, by any means, if he can get them to hear his message of salvation, that they could be saved, he has a hope for them. If that means I go to their Pentecostal days, so they don't think I'm a heathen or something, I'll do that and preach them the gospel, and they still reject him. If that means I'm going to take Timothy... Okay, not a devout Jew, 